Well, I've had this Ego for over a year and a half. I've loved every minute of it. I've had zero issues. It's not the case with everybody online, but for me, and this is not a Ego sponsored video, just like my first one, I bought this thing. I love it. It came out with a 52 inch since I bought this. I have a pretty big yard. I would have rather bought the 52 inch if it came out, but 42 has done me pretty well. It's the time of year where I have leaves everywhere and I'm gonna get a pool installed and I don't want those leaves to go into my pool. So I thought it was time to buy the bagger. So let's install the bagger on this and see how well it does. So before I bought the bagger, the first season of fall that I had this, that I had leaves, I thought I would just mow over the leaves a whole lot. Well, with the chute, it just blows leaves out and it doesn't chop them up. So I bought this. This is the mulch plug and it worked pretty well. It did mulch them up and I didn't have to go over it multiple times. However, it makes a giant, giant cloud of dust and you're just mowing in dust the entire time. So. It works, but if you're thinking about doing it, go for the bagger. The bagger is $420 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's not cheap for what it is, but it's the only way to bag up on this mower. First things it comes with is these blades. These are the mulching blades, and it's supposed to suck up the leaves up into the bag. And the blades that comes with does not have that sucking motion. So it says to install these. Uh, and if you don't install these and use the bag, you will die. I don't know how true that is, but we're going to go ahead and install these and we'll skip from installing these to the bag because installing these are its own separate issue. But I'll show you a time lapse of how me and Deacon are going to do it. You ready? Let's do it! Let's do it! All right, got these back on. I accidentally put this washer underneath, but got it back on, and now I am ready to put it back on to the mower. You ready? Are you ready? I'm ready! Let's do it! Let's do it! All right! All right, first step is to remove these two attachment ports here and here, and then we're gonna put them in the storage compartment what it says. There's actually a little slot for them to go over there, but let's find a flathead so I can remove that. Stick a flathead in here and pop it up. And a flathead in this one and pop it up. And then they are going to go into the storage compartment right there. Go in that storage compartment right there so we don't lose them for the future. Okay, now we're going to stick the Mounting rods down into the hole, just like that. I think it just wobbles around. And then we lift this big top cover assembly part. It goes. How does it go? It goes around like that. So the top cover assembly just kind of sits onto these posts, and there are holes in the pegs to hold it. Now we take these L bracket cotter, these pins and the cotter pins and they go in this hole. Do that on the other side. And then you take the cotter pin and that locks into that hole. So it stays in place. You repeat that on both sides. So here's what it looks like Deacon Trump, how it opens up. You pull that green thing and you push it up and that will get you access to the bags. So that's what we look like so far. All right, we have a crossbar that needs to go between this. So we have four bolts and I put some bolts across through here and it goes in. Then we have two bolts that go on the other side. Crossbar installed. 
Next part is this one that attaches to the side. This is very similar to the way it attaches to the um, malter. That end goes slides in, that end sticks on top, and this end clamps in, pull it apart. Just like that. So there it is, it's installed. Next part. Next part is the clear chute. And what's pretty cool is it's clear so we can see what we're doing. We have to shove it up into this plastic purse part here first. So what it says, open up the back, we're shoving it right in. Just like that. And that part is done. And then Deacon's going to take the, the rubber part and pull it over and attach it in place. I'm going to help you. And that rubber part holds it and installs it. it so there to, we go. It has to be like The sidearm is complete. One thing to think about when you're installing this is storage. I park somewhere really close up to the wall, and now I have this big pipe in the way. I also have bikes hanging above where I store it, so now I have this top in the way. So I have to rearrange when I put this where I store it. All right, next we're gonna install the bags. That way, they literally just slide into place like that. You have a corner cut out on either side, so you know which way it will install. And Deacon did it upside down. Oh, they're both exactly the same. So apparently, the corner doesn't make a difference. Uh, corners that way. So that is installed. We'll close the lid, and our baggers are in place. There's really not much to this. It's almost like a camper shell. It's really lightweight up here, but these are our baggers. We'll see how much it'll hold. First step of the front is to angle these out like that, and then we're going to put these wheel wells onto our mower like that. The right and the left. There are angles cut, so you can only really put it one way. Okay, now we'll install the brackets. We have a right and a left. So here's a left one. They go underneath. We set our mount on top, and the bolts are gonna come up from underneath into the top, and you put a nut in at the top. Can you need the other bracket? Yep, you can put the other bracket on. It goes upside down underneath it. Yeah, like that. It's a heavy weight. Good job. Okay, get a nut. I'll hold it here, you get the nut. And the, and the bolt. Put the bolt up through here. Uh-huh. And then get it through that hole. Got it? Yeah. Good. Now put the nut on the top. Like this? Yes, sir. Perfect. Now get the other one. I'll do the back one. I'll shove it underneath. You can put the bolts in on the top, okay? Those are on stout. We're finished. Here's one thing I thought about after I put all this together. Uh, the batteries are under here, and I took the batteries out to take off the mower uh, blades. So you, you have to take these off, and then flip this up, and now you have access to the batteries. Installed. Here you go. Put that 
them on. Slide it up. Close the lid. I'll do it. You can't reach. Bagger installed. Good job, bud. Alright, since you're not going to be able to hear me while I'm on the mower, this is the first test of my leaves right here. We'll see how it does sucking up. I'll be right back. Night has fallen, so I don't know how much you'll be able to see, but all you've seen so far, oh my goodness, my bags are already full. It took like three swipes to fill up the bags. That's a lot of bags. So, um, got a lot of leaves, you're gonna be emptying this a lot, a lot. So I did literally like four swipes of the yard, and I am full. So I need to go dump this. Thought I was gonna show you in there, I was wrong. It uh, doesn't really mulch that up too much, it really just like sucks it into the bag. So. Uh, I guess maybe we'll be back for tomorrow for part two because it's too dark for you to see anything. All right, so day two. Uh, it's really like day five because it rained after I last shot everything. I'm going to go ahead and mow up all these leaves. We'll see how it goes. Here we go. right here my chute is already full you can see I only did two stripes down there that's a lot of leaves but this is gonna take a lot of emptying and filling for this bag so while it's working practicality of me having to go to my burn pile every time well frankly it really blows but let's go swap it out <laughs> Already. You could see I'm already clogged twice back there. The leaves are super super wet because it rained for three days Or three or five days. I don't know between when I first filmed the first part of this video and now um, Thank goodness There's a clear part down here so I can see if the chute is clogged or when the bags are full because there's no other way to know And they get full pretty quick second time. I have to go uh, Empty this and you could see how much I've vacuumed so far not bad, just a little disappointed. This is a lot of empty. Okay, round three. Let's see if I can vacuum up all the rest. I'm really getting down to the thick, wet stuff, which doesn't suck up very well. 
So definitely recommended to do this when it is completely dry. You're not gonna pick up thick, wet leaves very well. Let's go. done two swipes I couldn't finish that it's probably gonna take me three more swipes and I'm already clogged up in here let's take a look at the back the sucky thing about this is it beeps every single time I get off of it and I don't turn it off but we are full I'm not sucking up anymore because I'm full so time to dump try four let's see if we can get it off I got everything behind me that took four tries to get it all up. I'm full in here now. I went down further in my grass where the leaves fall a lot less. There's no trees out there, they just kind of blow. I had to go much lower to get full suction and then we clogged it up. So when you have very little leaves, that's when to do multiple of these. But when it's thick and heavy, you're gonna take some time. And uh, I'm on full power rotation, so I get maximum suction and fill her up. So that took four tries behind me. You have to judge for yourself if this is the right fit for you. I'm thankful I didn't have to rake all those leaves. All right, so here's what it looks like when we're emptying the bag. We're gonna pull up on this tab and it reveals our leaves. Grab it by the handle on one side and I find it best to grab it by the handle on the underneath of this. So when you pull it out and flip it over, you can dump it out just like that. That's one side, then we'll grab the other one. And there is the other side. You can see I grabbed a ton of leaves, so it's no joke. But we have some stuck down in the pipe. This is what I have to do to clear it out. So even when I emptied the leaves in the back, we still have wet leaves stuck in the pipe. So how I empty that out, I leave the bagger open in the back. I'll turn it on and I'll kind of shake this around until this clears out, knowing I blew all the excess leaves out of the chute out of this tube. You can see all the leaves are gone from this tube now. I could equally just disassemble this and get my hand in there and suck them out, but I found this was the easiest way to do it. And it blew the leaves out back where I wanted them. So that's how you clean out this tube. And the final step is you gotta put these bags back. You can see that there is a uh, 45 degree side on only one side of the bag. That 45 degree aims this way. So we're gonna put it in and all the way to the back. You can also remember that whatever side needs to be on the front has a handle. So that handle side is only on one side and that's facing towards the front where you're gonna pull it out. And once they're in there, you can just close this up and it's locked into place and you're ready to go. So that's a lot what it's like actually mowing with this thing and uh, bagging it up. So I was at about 98% battery before I did this whole video and I am down to 64% battery. That is a loss of one dot on the battery indicator. Um, that's a lot of going off and on and starting over and cleaning that uh, chute. So, if you got a big lawn and you got a whole lot of leaves, this is gonna take you a while. The bag is just too small to do like heavy duty stuff. But uh, for what I need it for, occasional, maybe twice a year leaf cleanup, um, and especially around the trees, it's gonna work flawlessly and it's a whole lot better than having to rake or bag manually any of these leaves. So in my situation, it's perfect. Your situation may be different, 
or maybe it's going to be perfect for you. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this bagger. If you bought it, uh, your experiences with it. I'll leave a link in the description below. I found it on Amazon and it was about $420 delivered free with Prime. So uh, Lowe's also carries this thing. I don't know, they're not always in stock. Amazon was in stock at the time. They are harder to find when it is leaf season. I'm a little post leaf season into the winter season, but my leaves were out here and I needed to vacuum them up. So I did buy this on Amazon. So my review has nothing to do with the bias of how much I like or dislike Ego. They did not send it to me. So if you like this, leave a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and happy lawn mowing or leaf gathering if that's your thing. Thank you.